sir what's up everybody welcome back to the run with me manny wilson all the way from detroit to chicago to your speakers and headphones and we're going back to the hometown detroit i got my boy in here y'all know him if you listen on occasion it's my boy boots <laughs> that's what he man, said what's going every time. on man he was going on my boy what's good bro i had i had to bring you on bro you've been calling and man you got me you got me so if you don't know just 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 let me let me give you the breakdown you might recognize this right here boots he he's a chief fan all right but he called months ago months and months and months and months and months ago it was august 11th 2022 i actually have it written down and this is what he said when he called in what's going on manny bro what's the deal boys? boys i already knew it here with the hot take kansas city going to the super bowl oh, yeah. <laughs> coming. nobody gonna see it coming because tyreek left tyran left it's cool oh yeah you <laughs> Let's see y'all boys in the super bowl you crazy man you know what you you're really hilarious wow. boots wow <laughs> so i applaud you for that man you i applaud you. i just need my flowers man i, 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 I give them to everybody you know what i'm saying bro this is crazy this is crazy i i, I discredited you at one point because i'm like you're a chiefs fan so it's not fair because you got the belief in your team so i i still want to discredit you a little bit and I, I got some trash to talk about the chiefs too i, I got a little bit to say about the chiefs um, Throw but, it at me, man. Throw it at yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, man. Because, you you know, first off, here's my thing. I get it. You know, the Chiefs, we kind of did doubt the Chiefs as a whole. I know I did personally. So I ain't going to sit here and tell no lie and say I didn't doubt them. <laughs> as America, a uh, uh, whole population doubted the Chiefs almost. We, you know we did. Saying? Everybody who wasn't a Chiefs fan, because all the Chiefs fans know what Mahomes do, and they have Mahomes. <laughs> and they you know also saying? Travis Kelsey and Andy Reid. Like, they already knew that. But everybody else who wasn't, this is why I personally thought the Chiefs was not going back. Because I'm like, no way in hell will the AFC at a peak before the season. Remember, all of these big trades went down. All these players was getting moved around to the AFC. We seen these incredible uh, D lines. We seen these incredible uh, backfields, receiving cores, all of this stuff. Quarterbacks was moving around. No way in hell did I think the Chargers was going to finish. 10 and 7. The Raiders was gonna finish 6 and 11. Like I didn't I didn't think this was gonna happen. The Broncos, one of the teams I thought was gonna be a favorite, finished 5 and 12. Like I, I you couldn't have and imagined I can't lie this. To you. Them Chargers surprised me too. I'm not I'm gonna lie. Saying, I'm saying. I thought it was saying. gonna be a better, better way, better. That defense, both DNs, Khalil Mack and uh Joey Bosa and Duran James, like bro. This is what I'm talking about. So I, I, this is why I discredited the Chiefs. This is my part of why I say I apologize because the competition was supposed to be at an all all time high in the AFC, bro, and we did not see that at all. It was it was it was the complete oh, opposite. Don't 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 get me started on Broncos country. Let's cry. Like what is that about? <laughs> ah, oh my <laughs> god. Where we ride to, Russ? The bench? The home? Yeah, the that boy. Hey, no, no, no. That boy, Russ. Hey, he was ready. He was doing high knees on the plane. He remember that? Uh, he was. Hey, he was getting. That. <laughs> Corny. That boy Russ was getting after it. He was smacking high knees out on the plane. He said, I'm done losing. Went back to losing another six games. So yeah, I was, right. yeah, they pissed me off. Dolphins. Um, they had some injury issues, so I didn't see that coming with them. Ravens, mm. Lamar Jackson went down. They finished uh mm. not as good as I thought they was gonna finish. And the Browns, I they actually did a little bit better than I thought because I knew they wasn't gonna get Deshaun Watson back, but I, I still mm. when he came back, he didn't do anything. So it was just it was it was just tragic. Honestly, um, when that uh when that Ravens defense came back healthy, I, I thought the Bengals wasn't gonna gonna reach that again. You know, normally when teams yeah. they go to the yeah. AFC, they don't really get back there when they get there. Yeah, they haven't done that in a long time. That you know journey, that journey of getting back is literally no joke, bro. I, I no say joke. it all the time. I'm like Brady, even Mahomes too. Mahomes is at that point where he makes it look like it's easy because he continues to get back to the AFC Conference Championship every year almost. And if they make it look so easy, but it's really not, bro. It's, it's, it's not. It, it's just and, crazy. And that's why I say Mahomes the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? I, I give it to you. I give Everybody it to you. Everybody got to stop that in Patty, man. When it's look. Patty time, it is Patty time, man. <laughs> when it's Patty time. Look, this is, this is what I say about Patty time, bro. First, he earned my respect. And we're going to talk about this Bengals game in just a second as well because that just recently happened, but... Bro, to play an entire game on one ankle? That is crazy. 
That is crazy. And he played damn near flawless, too. So that, to me, was like, bro, this this guy, I mean, he's not the first person to do it, but just like, man, that's different, bro. That's different. You play, we both, shit, we play football together. <laughs> so, right, we play together so, so, man, you know, when you when you mess your ankle up, bro, that was a, that was like, all right, I, bad, like, I got to sit down. So it is crazy. <laughs> that was crazy to me. But throughout that game, you could tell it, it was messing with him, but it, it wasn't really messing with him. It didn't stop him. It didn't stop him. Stop You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. You know, it don't mean like you know, bro. I, I've been hearing talks, you know, about I'm a little bit I've been hearing talks <laughs> about Josh Allen. You know, Joe. Burrow, oh, I can man. The Joe Burrow talk because we haven't beat him yet until now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that Josh Allen talk, man. Please, let's throw all that out the window, please. Here we go. Here we go. I'm, let's, I'm, let's, let's just throw that in the car. I'm glad like. you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up. So let, I heard a comparison actually, and I'm gonna give credit where it's due. It was it was from Richard Sherman. He was talking about it, and he was talking about uh, Mahomes and Burrow. And I kind of apply this to a, a lot of other quarterbacks. I think when you com- when you put Mahomes in comparison to anybody else, Mah- the the things we've witnessed Mahomes do on the field is like no other. We we have not really seen multiple things that he's done as a quarterback from other people. We've seen glimpses of it. Like, we've seen sidearm passes and stuff. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers, even Stafford, has been doing stuff like that for years. We've seen the evading sacks, throwing these nice passes from Vic, Lamar Jackson. We see other quarterbacks do that, but at the rate that that Pat Mahomes can get the job done and, and continue to be efficient, that's something that we haven't seen. We haven't seen quarterbacks continue to play with that same type of style and then be able to analyze the game, break it down, break down the defense, and have success like Mahomes has been able to have. So to me, that's where I'm like, this guy is completely different because not only is is his style slightly different because he has he has the ability to scramble. Obviously, he's not as fast as Vic or Lamar Jackson, but he has that ability. He can throw the sidearms like Aaron Rodgers and, and Stafford and, and all these other sweet QBs that we done seen do before. He can throw the bomb just like we've seen from many other quarterbacks as well, but it's just all in one, bro. Like, that's what makes this dude crazy. And when I look at Burrow, when I look at um, uh, even Josh Allen, those are great quarterbacks, but they just oh, yeah. don't do they don't do the Mahomes things. They don't get they, the spectacular factor like Mahomes gives, and that's the thing that separates them. And the comparison that I that I thought that I heard from Richard Sherman was like Mahomes is Superman. The man has the powers. He got the the the, uh, the vision. Uh, he got it all. He can fly. <laughs> like he got mm. all of that. But he ain't got the team around him. And then he was saying Joe Burrow and, and Josh Allen, those guys are more like Batman because, yeah, they're not superhuman, but they got the parts. They got the uh, explosives. They got the wire, the zip lines. They got all of that stuff to really make that key difference in being effective. So that's that breakdown that I see with it. But it's hard yeah. to compare anybody to Mahomes, man. <laughs> to me, uh, I could give it Josh Allen. He's a great runner. Um but I think uh, he runs a little bit. In my opinion, he runs a little bit mm. too much more than needed. Okay. And okay. Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow's a dog. I, you know, he I'm is. To me, to me, it ain't no flaws in his game like that. You know what I'm nah. saying? But he's more experienced. Yeah. I th- that and and here's the thing with Joe Burrow that I've kind of noticed. To me, I, I kind of started hearing this comparison a lot too. Uh, I don't want to compare him to Peyton Manning. But when I watch his game, it's hard not to kind of think back how Payne Manning used to play. He's going to dot you up, hit you with some short throws. He can throw the, the the deep bomb, too, if he catch you. And I think Joe Burrow has the hell of an arm to be able to hit people very, very accurately on a deep bomb. But from what I noticed with Burrow, he's not incredibly fast. Uh, he He's not like the the – he doesn't have the best footwork. Like, it's just, it's just certain things where – his, his skill set is not the most spectacular, but it's the breakdown that he can do, the, the analysis he can do of a defense that really helps him. And, man, it's just he, he's solid when he's out there. He wins games. He shows up. He does his parts. And he, he calls the audibles when necessary. Like, he, he he's still an animal, so yeah, it's hard to discard him. For sure. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, man, I, I like Joe Burrow. That's why I wanted him to win, too, because <laughs> I'm like. I'm not going to lie. If, um. Joe Burrow, he's that type. If uh, if the play for him is designed, like if it's there, he's gonna run and take it. But he's not gonna create a space for him to run and take it. If that makes mm. sense. One more time. One more time. Let me let me make sure I understand. So 
Like if the play is designed to where you know the DB where the he could manipulate the defense to do something to make him run in a certain area, right? He will run and take that. But if he gotta think of something on the fly and make a move and go, it's not happening. I, I can I can give you that. Yeah, it's a it, mm-hmm. it's more so he's he's good at being coached. I think that's something oh, yeah. like yeah, very he's, very he's coachable. At, nah, that's a huge asset in the NFL. Yep, absolutely. I, and I think that's mm-hmm. one of the, the reasons why he thrives because he is good at being coached as well. And then sometimes when you know when you have to improvise, he's not as good as an improviser. Like I said, when we compare it to a Pat Mahomes, because that mm-hmm. dude is a hell of an improviser. <laughs> he's oh, crazy man. with it. So. I don't, I don't know. But look, man, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move on. I got some voicemails. And you're going to help me break them down because you oh, be sending the voicemails. You got one in here, but I mean, you're on the show. You already done popped your, popped your talk about the Chiefs. And we're going to touch on that. We're going to talk about the Chiefs and Eagles, too, because oh. um, I, I, think I, I think I know my pick. I think I know my pick now. Uh, I, I hope it's the Kansas City boys. So <laughs> don't be wrong again. I, I think I know my pick. But look, look, look. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to jump right back into it. Uh, with the voicemails, and then we're going to talk about these Eagles and the Chiefs, man, because I, I think I got my pick. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait. Sure, man. <laughs> All right, for sure, let's do it. We're gonna be, we'll be right back. 